P3-27 has a missing dimension, so we need to guess at what the uh, the overall is on the uh, on the length. Uh, as far as um, the uh, the geometry, I think we'll go with the uh, the cylinder, and then build in the rest of our our shapes as we go. Uh, not really given if this is on center line, just kind of a quick projection. Or since it's not specifically called out, we're going to say that this is the uh, the half cylinder, and that if they uh, extended the uh, center line, it would intersect at the uh, the center of the cylinder. All right, so this is a metric part, and we'll start with the um, the cylinder. So. Opening up the uh, the sketch, we have a diameter of 52, and then let's just give it an extrusion of 100 millimeters. See what that gives us. All right, so I did not get it in the same orientation as in the uh, the print, but my origin is on the right side, so we'll kind of keep the uh, the geometry pointed to the uh, kind of forward there. So let's go into the uh, the right plane and I'll pick up the leading edge and make sure that I don't get the um, the midpoint and then we're looking for a coincidence and when I apply the dimension I'm looking for that silhouette edge so I get the cylinder with a little line through it. We'll drag along and that's our 30 degrees. All right, as far as its location, we can pick the origin. Uh, something else is under the, um, the view. So next to the, uh, the eye and the heads up is hide all types. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to do the little arrow next to it. And that'll allow us to turn on temporary axes. Temporary axes is any cylinder automatically gets this axis. So. I can dimension from the axis to the point, and it's not really a center line, so I'm not getting that diametral uh, radial thing going on, but I can utilize it as uh, as much as I could the, uh, the origin, and then after we're through, we'll go back and turn it off. So if you want to dimension from the origin to the point, that will yield the same result. I'm going to leave this as an open profile, so when I extrude cut, this is going to be through all both, so basically cutting all the material away. The arrow is pointing towards the side that I want the material removed. We'll go ahead and accept that. And then for the, um, the rectangular notches at the nose, go into the top plane because I don't really have anything planar there to, uh, to work with. I do want to mirror this, so we'll go from the origin to the end of the geometry. And I would like to pick up that edge so I have coincident. If I didn't get the edge, then I would maybe take the, the line and that silhouette edge and make those collinear. All right, so the depth is 22. <coughs> and the distance off of center is 10. And then we can mirror that by window picking from right to left, including the center line in the selection set. All right, so when I go to cut this, features, extrude, cut. And I kind of look at it from the side. There's this little triangular shape that's not going to be part of the, of the cut. So I want to change from a blinding condition to through all both. And that's just going to make sure that it removes material in both directions and doesn't leave uh, a little piece left. All right, so going into the right plane, we'll sketch another rectangle. All right, so looking for the uh, the intersection in the upper corner. Uh, looks like I got to the uh, to the center point, but since that's uh, not quite defined. I'm just going to drag that point away and back to the origin so that it becomes coincident. And then we'll select the, uh, the line. And we need to come up with a number, so 
The whole location is about 12. It doesn't quite look halfway. So since uh, we don't have that dimension, we're going to go with 30. If you want to experiment and make it something different, that's fine too. Features, extrude cut. And this will be a through all both so that it removes the material from both sides of the right plane. And then we'll start the sketch. And I'm looking for that inference line to the origin, but I'm not expecting it to automatically apply. So 12 millimeters from for the diameter and then 12 millimeters from the edge. All right, and then we can just check center point didn't pick up it moves left to right not up and down and I can see that white box uh, was telling me that uh, I'm in position but I don't have the um, the automatic inference um, is gonna is, isn't gonna take place uh, with that um, those selections with that geometry so we're in cut extrude through all and then we'll save this and this completes out the um, chapter 3 part 1 optional items and we'll be into uh, chapter 3 part 2.